week we have had an opportunity on Nelson Mandela Day, the 18th of uh, July, to work all day with the, with the executive mayor of Mfudeni, our officials, and we were closing the portals and we make remarkable progress, but obviously we have not closed all of them. The potholes poses a risk to the lives of the people. Um, it's not just an inconvenience to motorists, it, it actually leads to loss of life because as uh, cars try to duck the potholes, they then get into other uh, vehicle spaces and it causes accidents. I've, I've been made to see potholes that are dubbed uh, or called uh, portals of death because there have been accidents there and people died. So our officials are on the ground. As we speak, we started last week. It's still part of the Nelson Mandela uh, program and we're working very hard to reduce the backlog in the number of portals here. And if there's any that you have seen that has not been attended to, I'll be quite glad to get the area if you know. But we are on the ground, we're working. The municipality also has introduced a follow-up program to also uh, deal with the portals. I know that um, they've put service providers on the ground who are hard at work closing portals. We need to give motorists um, and, and passengers comfort uh, to move in our province. We are the e economic hub of the country. We are the, one of the leading economies in the continent. And we have got to be the home of swift movement. We have got to make sure that we become actually the city region of movement of goods and people, of freight, of logistics. Uh, and in that way we can grow our economy. If our road networks is in bad shape, potholes everywhere, it means goods and people are not moving, that affects the economy. When all is said and done, they've got a bearing on the economy of our province, and we can't afford that an economy as big, as powerful as Gauteng is being distracted by uh, road networks that are in bad shape, in bad condition.